to the podcast for when the curves line up for July 5, 2023. Please see the article that includes diagrams of today's events on the website. Text by Jeffrey L. Hunt. In Chicago the sun rises at 5.22 a.m. Central Daylight Time, followed by sunset at 8.29 p.m. Here is today's planet forecast. In the morning sky, the bright moon, 95% illuminated, is about 20 degrees up in the south-southwest, nearly 30 degrees to the lower right of Saturn during morning twilight. For the next two mornings, the moon moves closer to Saturn in the sky. The ringed wonder, nearly 40 degrees up in the south, is retrograding, appearing to move westward, against Aquarius. The planet is not as bright as Venus or Jupiter, but it is among the brightest stars in the sky this morning. The star Fomalot is about halfway from the horizon to Saturn. Bright Jupiter is nearly 30 degrees up in the east. It is moving eastward in front of Aries. For sky watchers with telescopes, Jupiter's great red spot is at the center of the planet in the southern hemisphere. This long-lived storm is larger than Earth and it has been seen through telescopes from perhaps 1664. The feature is at its prime observing spot from Earth nearly every 10 hours, providing two to three opportunities to see it each day for sky watchers. Even at this level of twilight for Chicago area observers, Jupiter is high enough in the sky to see the spot. For sky watchers farther westward, the planet is lower in a darker sky, but high enough to see the great red spot. Look at the stars in the eastern sky. Menkart, Cetus Nostril, is to Jupiter's lower right. Taurus Pleiades star cluster and bright star Aldebaran are in the east-northeast. Capella, over 20 degrees up in the northeast, is the second brightest star this morning after Vega. In the evening sky, Mercury is rapidly entering the evening sky, although seeing it is a challenge. This evening the bright, speedy planet, sets 29 minutes after the sun. At this time, brilliant Venus sparkles through the bright western twilight. About 30 minutes later, more stars are visible, including Mars. At this hour, the evening star is only 10 degrees up in the west. The planet is in its interval of greatest brightness that continues for more than a week. Through a telescope, Venus displays an evening crescent phase that is 29% illuminated. The phase continues to shrink as the inner planet overtakes our world. Venus is in a planet shuffle with Mars, 3.8 degrees to the brighter planet's upper left. After the near or quasi-conjunction, Mars is marching away from Venus toward a conjunction with Regulus, 2.9 degrees to the red planet's upper left, in five evenings. Venus, Mars, and Regulus fit into the same binocular field of view. On the 19th and 20th, Mercury and the Moon join this evening planetary shuffle. Thank you for listening. Please read the articles at whenthecurveslineup.com.